Welcome, one and all, to Small Talks. Yes, it's not an LZS Live this time, it's a Small Talks, which is just a, a shorter, um, well, type of video. And this time we're going to be talking about uh, some uh, very horrible album art. Um, I mean, we're both into design. Oh yeah, I have to say that uh, Connor's here, so... Hello, we both do it's a me, I'm Connor. Because if I say we're both, we're both to something with design, and they're like, hmm, who, who are you talking about? Yeah, yeah no, who it's, the uh, fuck is the other person? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's me and Connor that are here now, and we're going to uh, check out some very... <clears throat> I don't know, I, I mean, we haven't seen them before, so... We did ask for ugly album art, so... Yeah, that they've been described to us as some of the worst album art that they've found. Whoops. So, this is going to be a fun ride trying to look at look through all of these. I guess we can dive into it, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, going, it's going to be a good one. Um, so this first one, <laughs> Ken, by request only... <laughs> I mean, we had the, we had this open um, just before I mean, starting this recording. Oh my god! I mean, the one positive thing is that it's by request only. It's not like you're gonna get gun forced upon you. So <laughs> that's one thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that is a very good point there, bro. <laughs> it looks like one of those really bad family portraits from the 1970s. So it's very on brand for the release year that it was. <laughs> 1976. I, I do think they spend a lot of time on, on his hair, though. I, I, it's not saying that it's good, but it's like probably for the period it was like. Oh, something. he definitely spent far too much time making his hair look that good. <laughs> There's a fuck, fucking handlebar mustache on it. He looks yeah, like. A, like <laughs> he looks like he would be like an ice cream truck or something with the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he'd sell ice cream to kids. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I mean, yeah, first off, like, the photography is, is like, uh, I mean, it's it's not just the photography, but, like, the question, also the fact, why is there two of him on the album cover to begin with? Well, you need That's... a close-up shot and then a full body shot, Bram. <laughs> I guess you would. I mean, the full it's... body shot almost looked like something they would do, like, to a dead person. To Like, you know, back in the day when, like, phot photography was very expensive, so they would only take pictures of people... Like, sometimes when they were, like, after they were dead, so they still had, like, a picture of them. Like, I mean, he doesn't have that Yeah, I mean, I mean... Well, he does on the it, it close says that this is It says that this is country gospel, and so it's got to be some kind of angelic thing going on. Ah, so the photo on the, on the right is when he was still alive, and the photo on the left where he has, like, the very dead expression, like, the close-up, is actually after he died? Yeah, it's his uh, post-mortem shot. <laughs> it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Oh, God, no, uh, do you special. want to move on to the next one then? Uh, I mean, we didn't really talk about the design, but like uh, one last thing we would have to say is that like also the fucking font, right? The font's awful. The the <laughs> choice of yellow as well. I'm not <laughs> sure what they were going for with that. I think it's supposed to be gold, but it kind of reminds me of like piss, especially with, <laughs> with the background that's so washed out. It's like almost like it's like. I guess it's like a, 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 a picture from the era. Like I do think, like on a lot of albums, they would play around with the colors and stuff of, of pictures. But these mm -hmm. pictures just look like very dead. Like like when it comes, like they're very washed out as well. And then you have like that gold thing. Like, and I don't know. Also, the ratio, the distance between the word "can," like the name "can," and the top of the album cover is also like, I don't know. I feel like it should have at it least feels been very like much off. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. It it also should have at least been like, like in line with his hairline. If you see what I'm like, his hair is further away from the edge than the than the name Ken is. Yeah, so like the top of the word Ken and then yeah, the top of his hair. It kind yeah. of bothers me that nothing actually lines out apart from like the words. And his eyes are all on the same level. Or four of his eyes are on the same level of the uh, image, though. <laughs> Those do line out, yes. <laughs> but I did. Also, they didn't really use like the, the the fucking rule of thirds anyway. But I guess they used the rule of fours, as in four eyes lined out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, let's go to the next one because this one just <laughs> it's becoming less funny, but it's becoming more of like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? Animal fuck like a beast. Hmm. 
by a wasp, I think. Yeah, I just I just also noticed that it's like covered in blood. Yeah. And then has like a saw blade going through his dick. Yeah, he's got a saw blade going through not just his dick, but his entire taint. Hmm. It also looks like looks, the sobs. It looks like he's got a cod piece on, as well as the saw blade just went straight through it. Yeah, it also doesn't look like one of those James Bond traps where it comes from, like like uh, when it's like uh, like that it comes from like the villain puts him on the table and it comes from the other side. This lo- just looks like yeah. it comes from behind him somehow. Yes, yeah, somehow he's birthing this saw blade. <laughs> I mean. The, the least we can say, at least, is that uh, this time they have an, like, an actual text logo rather than the fucking, like, random font. Insert random font here. Yeah, so. but if you look at the text, it's not centered. And the spacing no, between each letter is it different. Is, yeah, spacing between the letters is very obnoxious. It it almost looks like it says, like, WA SP or something. For some yeah, reason. Washington State Police. <laughs> I mean, I guess the I guess the the Washington State Police fucks like a beast. <laughs> <laughs> also, like I feel like the title of the album was like an like not the title itself, but like uh, inserting the title into the design was like an afterthought. It's almost the like I fuck like a look. beast and on the cod piece thing. Yeah, it's just it. I mean, no, it's it there. It there. It, like, it's there. Yeah. It, I mean, they they worked oh, you it mean in there. The actual text at the bottom. Yeah. yeah it's just like, uh, just insert random font, put it at the bottom, whatever. Nobody cares. That's basically what that kind of looks like. We have blood. We have saw blades chopping dicks in half, and we've got wasp. That's I mean, all we need, baby. I mean, at least there's uh, there, there's something to look at. It's like I guess. Uh, I guess this could sell itself by like share of like oh it does the word fuck on it so I guess that's like something that would yeah, be back does, in the day. Yeah, but it it covers it covers the word fuck up so yeah, it's not true. going to. It's a f- asterisk asterisk k. Oh yeah, true. Hmm. I mean, and also the, the, the cod piece being tiger print definitely sells something though. Yeah, but it was also covering up the word fuck on the cod piece. That that is a good point. Well, his nail could be the U, I guess. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, I mean... No, it, it's it's awful. It, it is genuinely awful. Yeah, it's just like, I think... I think this is like definitely down to arrangement, like most of it. Because it's not really necessarily... The blood looks too much like a strawberry syrup. Yeah, the blood is too red, but that's uh, like, whatever. It's too thin as well. I mean... The the blood is being too red and too thick, too th- like too too uh too liquid, isn't necessarily like bad. It could be like depending on what it's what it's pretend what it's yeah that that could just be a limitation of their resources or just like oh yeah this is like a um a bit of a like a pun on or a play on like uh I don't know like a cheesy horror and then it could is it could meant to be that he's been like viciously mutilated by the saw blade and that's why he's all bloody if so why is the blood coming from his chest and upper arms i don't know when the thing when the saw blade is in his dick maybe maybe he's becoming like a, a, a machine ah <laughs> like he's tetsuo. an android he's a te- by he's a, no he's a tetsuo he's oh okay. <laughs> he, he, instead of the drill penis he chose the fucking saw blade <laughs> Never mind. This is just like I, I yeah, I, I guess. Um, what what bothers me the most, actually, like I, I, I can deal with the picture and stuff, but like still the the way the 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 logo is lined out and like the distance between the wording and just the words, like how it's not centered and stuff. I feel like that's yeah, the most annoying. It's not centered, and the spacing is really annoying. I feel like that is legit the most annoying thing. It, it certainly gets across that it's heavy metal, and having the text made out of, like, a cartoon metal uh, aesthetic does kind of work for that, but it's just awful design from the yeah. spacing between all of the letters. I really don't know how... I think it's because they wanted a, um, to see the They blade. wanted people to be able to see the sword blade, yeah. Yeah, I guess, but then they, they, just, they just had too much of a focus on that. Also, I feel like the title would have worked better if it was like this is again that stupid saw blade they wanted to have that saw blade so prominent that... if they want if if they had the word wasp 
anywhere else on that with relatively decent spacing, then it will be perfectly fine. They could have just taken the same picture well, from... I wait, 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 wait. They could have just taken the same picture from further away so the word wasp could have been above it and not obscure too much, and then they could have had the title. I was th- yeah, no, I was under. thinking that too. Or they could have just had more leg, and then they could have had the was- word wasp at the bottom and had the, like, the title like uh, right underneath the word, because that's also something that bothers me, because if the title was like connected with the, with the, with the band name better, then that would have been nice as well. Like even yeah. even just a black stru- like a black um, type of like border like a black uh, like uh, framing and and like with the white letters on it or just transparent letters on it would have worked well to keep it in line with the uh, the title to some degree. But I feel like this could this was like easy easily salvageable. But I just just wanted to do it in a specific way, I guess. The, it feels like it's been rushed and not much though it's been put into it. Yeah. But I guess maybe, I don't know if when it comes to the band, like, uh, because I think they were like one of the bigger hair bands at the the time. So I think maybe this could be like one of their early, I don't know necessarily when it was, but if it's one of their earlier albums, maybe they just didn't have the resources for it, whatever. I guess the same for Ken. I guess Ken probably didn't have much resources. But even, no, (laughs) you say they didn't have the resources for it, but it's, they could have just moved the positioning of the text or changed the, um, change the way that they shot the picture yeah like it's using the same resources that they have just Mm -hmm. altering them true also think it's still a bit should we move on to the next one yeah i also think it's still a bit bit, you've got another point it's still a bit too much too too washed out as well like color scheme wise but that could be also down to like that that could just be because of like aging and scanning the yeah so whatever let's let's go to the next one Oh my! What um, the fuck? Uh, it's a Jackson sibling. Is it? I don't know. I don't know all of them. Millie Jackson. I'm assuming it's Michael, a relative of Michael Jackson. <laughs> I mean, they tried to invoke like a Michael Jackson esque feeling with like the way they wrote the name in those in that framing. So I. Think it maybe from a design standpoint, there's nothing too wrong with it. No, it's not really like design wise. It's not really the worst. It's just like the the text matches like the uh, Millie Jackson bit at the top matches the floor tiles yeah. on the ground. That is. Uh... I don't get why they've got the eighteen in the middle. Hmm. You see that right? Like the handwritten eighteen. It, it seems very out of place. Yeah, I don't know what that is or what, why that's there, actually. That's kind of confusing. Also, I like that they used a different font for the back to the shit. Uh, <laughs> for the title, for the name. So Yeah. I mean, I think that works. And it it, it lines out well with the... It's not bad quarter. from a design standpoint, but it's bad from a conceptual standpoint. Yeah, it's just like, I mean... What did they mean with back to the shit? Did they, is, is this really like an album about... Is this entire album about pooping or taking a shit or something? I think it's like back to the shitstorm kind of thing. Like you're going back to revisit uh, shittier parts of your life or whatever. Hmm. I guess potentially, yeah, it could be. Or like you are in a good place and now it's gone back to negativity. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's 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 not too horrible in that way because I feel like it's it's just it's just the idea seems just like what the fuck why. Yeah, it, it's a weird it's a weird concept for sure. And then the title of back to the shit like. It's not exactly. I do like the angle that Some it's bit... shot at. Like if it was any other. I don't thing. get who would buy this. I mean, maybe someone's like, "Oh yeah, toilets, just my thing." I don't know. Or maybe someone with a sk- it... like somebody with a scat fetish may just be like, "Ooh." Oh, let's not get into that. Bro. <laughs> maybe they're like, "Oh yeah, someone on the toilets." I don't know. <laughs> let's not. <laughs> but it's like I said, if uh, it was moving anything on because. If it was anything oh. but a toilet, and a, like this type of angle could have just like worked properly. I just feel like that. If she wasn't there, and if it was just a picture of the toilet, I would actually prefer that. Yeah, I mean, because that would make more sense to me. Yeah. Just the way she's sat on the toilet with her feet like perched up, and then her expression. <laughs> it, it, 
something about that just doesn't ring right with me. Yeah, it's almost, it's not the sound. It's it's not like she's doing a face that you would do on the toilet, is it? No. <laughs> it's also not necessarily. It's a bit of a weird position. It's not an appealing face to be selling albums either. No. It's like. But anyway, there's not much to say regarding the design. You know so do you want to move on? Yeah, to just next just the last one, thing about the face is like, say? I think the facial expression is kind of like somewhere in between, like something somehow trying to make a seductive face but also a shit face like I'm thinking, yeah so like, it makes no how sense. can you be seductive like, uh, while taking a shit uh, i don't like this let's uh, go away from the <laughs> toilet that's next one. Oh my oh my oh um well they had big hair that's one thing yeah but there's big hair and then there's this then there's also the title, Jesus like, Use Me. This is folk music, apparently. Yes, but the title is Jesus Use Me. That That is a good point. <laughs> um, it looks... You, you know those really, really stereotypical-looking American uh, paintings of Christmas scenes? Yeah, yeah. It has that same kind of vibe about it. What? Where something looks very fake and I'm not quite sure how to pinpoint it exactly. <laughs> you want to know something else that I find funny? Go on. Like there's the, the the one with the glasses. She's the only one who actually looks like that's her actual hair. The other two kind of look like their hair was photoshopped on later. <laughs> it looks like their faces are all fake. Also, uh... Yeah, true. It looks like some random people like photoshopped their faces onto it. Yeah, I guess I can kind of see what you mean. But like the one on the left, like the angle, like the the angle of the face compared to the angle of the hair, just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, it's like slightly distorted. What the fuck is that? Also, they picked that yellow, unreadable, <laughs> fucking yeah, the the, color. the piss yellow again. And they didn't even put, like, a black shading behind it to make it, like, stand out or pop out. Because, like, I feel yellow is, like, a color that you could use if you want to make something pop. Like, but if it, like, if there's, like, a light color behind it, because, like, the where the where the, the shirts are, like, this, this weird, like, this, this very boring granny blue color. Um, and, like, where there's, like, a lot of light, it becomes completely unreadable. But where there's, like, a lot of shading, I mean, that's also down to the picture being poorly lit as well, isn't it? Oh yeah, this... I think it's the font choice as well, right? Jeez. Because it's italics as well as yeah. a very stylized... Also, I just noticed, like, because I said about those highlights and the, the shading, this picture yeah. is very poorly lit. Mm -hmm. Like extreme, like there's, no, it's like there's no light boxes or anything. Like they didn't think about like putting up lighting. They just took this picture somewhere. It's like they got the studio. It's not even studio lights. Like, like the the lighting of the room generally. Yeah. And then it was like, yep, that's good enough. Don't need to actually <laughs> probably light anything up. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what I can say about. The... I don't like. I don't like the fonts that they're using for both the Jesus Use Me and the uh, the Faith Tunes bit. Yeah, the, the I mean, the Faith Tunes one, the Faith Tunes kind of works to some degree because it has, like, some... Yeah. Like, it, it, it kind of has a bit of a... somewhat of a 50s feeling to it. Yeah, but if you look... Jesus Use Me is in all, all capital letters. Yeah. But the Faith Tones isn't. That's also a thing. But the thing is, and then the um, quotation marks around the "Jesus use me." Yeah, that's don't look right. Also, the quotation marks are there. "Jesus use me" is in full, like, full <laughs> gaps, and there's like it's um it's a very straightforward like font as well, which makes it look very aggressive. Yeah, I was going to say it seems very demanding. Like Jesus, just fucking use me already. Yeah, that's. Basically, it, it, if it said Jesus fuck me, that would have just read the same to me. Just because of the way the font is, how aggressive it looks, it just yeah, fuck me, Jesus. Th that would have that would have been the same thing. Like if I if that would have been it there, would've, I would have yeah. been like, yeah. I mean, it's, 
I guess I guess what was also kind of annoying about the Fate Tones thing that it says back down there is like it's just a font. Like, if you have a band, why not put some time into actually making a logo type of thing? I feel like that's also it's a bad band name as well. <laughs> the Fate Tones. Yeah. <laughs> then again, it's 1964. It's folk music. You don't really need a good band name for any of that. Yeah, I don't really. Uh, also, oh yeah. The bad, the the thing about the bad lighting, by the way, you can see it in the background as well. Just look at mm -hmm. that gray backdrop. Like you can see, there's like a gradient in the background, yeah. Yeah, but there wasn't a gradient intended to be there. I think that's what I'm. That's that's what it looks like. It doesn't seem like there needed to be a gradient. Yeah, it it, it definitely seems uh, unintentional. Do you want to move on to the next one? Yeah, definitely. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is 2010 yeah that's that's the thing how did they even manage to what why does I, that what i feel i don't think i've been this speechless about an album cover before <laughs> you know what i was gonna say before i saw the date i saw yeah. like you know that like when you look at older people when they were, like, in their 20s and you look at it, it's like, what the fuck, you were 20 there? You look fucking 40! Like, you know how older people yeah. looked older way earlier for some fucking reason? Like, I thought this, like, mm -hmm. uh, I, I was thinking, is this a guy in his 20s that looks like he's 40 or something? But then I was like, oh. Is this, a, yeah, this definitely reads like it's from the 1970s or 1980s. Yeah, definitely. Jeez, this looks like... They even use like an old. It looks like they made it. it in Microsoft Word, like with the text, with the arc of the text, and it just being really blank, thin letters. Looks like it's made in Microsoft Word. Yeah. Also, I I don't know why that arc is there, to be honest. To begin with, um, I'm also kind of questioning the fact if that arc is in the middle and actually round, because it kind of has like a distorted feeling. It to does it. look like it's off. Yeah, it it looks like it's slightly off kilter in a way. Hmm. It's leaning slightly right, isn't it? Yeah, and it just looks like a very bad picture. I mean, <laughs> if the 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 name of the song, "Thank You for the Dove," brilliant. <laughs> yeah, what what's or well, name of the album, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Also, the name what Mike Mike Atkins or something. It's almost unreadable. I cannot read that. Yeah. And it's also not lined up with the with the thank you for the dove at the top, or the dove, the, the wing Nothing of the dove. Nothing is lined up yet again. I think it would have been the name Mike Atkins would have been more readable if it was actually lined up because then it would have been in a darker area. Agreed. Yes. <laughs> That's like an easy fix. Just like move that shit. <laughs> it it would have also looked fine if Mike Atkins was in the same font as the title. Yeah, I guess it was definitely readable. I do like, I, I do prefer, like, when it's, like, different fonts, but, like, especially for, like, an album and, and, like, the name of the band. It looks like you picked a guy off the street and gave him a dove and was like, yeah, pose for us, please. Also, the guy has a very questionable he didn't expression. Quite he, he doesn't look like he understands the assignment. I think he's afraid that the dove is going to poop in his hand. If you see his expression, it's like, oh, shit. It, it does look like the dove's about to just slap him in the face with his wing. Or something like that, yeah. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> thinking back to the title, someone just handed him a dove and he's like, thanks, I guess? But what, I guess. What do I do with this now? <laughs> You're gonna pose with it. <laughs> it's like he's holding the dove. He, he is thanking them really awkwardly for it, but he doesn't quite know what to do. You know... I think if the the way that they like arced the fucking uh, text, <laughs> I think it would have been somewhat like funny. Not necessarily better, but if it was like a thicker font, and it was like, uh, and it was like also like a radial glow coming down from it, like towards the center, and it was like behind them, like oh, that would have been kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to take the piss anyway, but this just looks like poor design this doesn't even look like a parody in of terms something. of rule of thirds in terms of rule of thirds brilliant it matches up quite nicely 
Yeah. To you got the guy in the in the left third. You got the dove on the right third. That is actually. And his cool. eyes are in the top corner, uh, where the lines match up in the top corner. I guess that kind of means so that in, the photographer. In terms of rule of thirds, it is. It's got some thought behind it. Yeah, but like we're talking about the photo, that just means that the photographer knows knew what he was doing. Yeah, the photographer knows what he's doing, but whoever edited it afterwards. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah, they, they took like a decent picture. It was in 2010. They would have had Photoshop. They could have made this so much better. Yeah, I guess like, I guess it took like an effect to make the photo look like, the, the, I guess there was like a decent photo or something. And, the, and then they were like, ah, how do we make this look like old and shitty? And then they put some effects on it. And then they just slapped the text on it and they were done. I guess that's all that happened here. Yeah, again, it looks like it's unfinished and this is the first draft or something next yeah, one let's see what else we have oh it's the beatles i mean i don't know what the idea was behind this uh it's definitely a weird album hmm the text in places doesn't line up yeah but i think that it looks like it's intentional i feel like it doesn't line up but i feel like it's somewhat uh some type of balance was it like balancing act was applied with the yeah. text towards the photo like as, a, as you see the word today kind of curves around his head um a bit in in, in that uh, in some way because today well it does a y at the end so it kind of goes down below the below the bottom line of the text and then the th yeah and then the fact with like yesterday it's the same thing they lined it up with the text like they they kind of like played around with uh the texts with like the flags of like the t's and stuff and the and and the the capitals i feel like the the i feel like the people should have been slightly more to the right because if you look at the spacing uh from the edge of the image on the right and then the spacing on the left it's completely different yeah like the right's got some space between i'm not sure which beetle it is but there's some space between them and the edge of the um image hmm. but on the left there's not and it just feels like they should be slightly over yeah well you know the the thing is if you look at the text by itself i don't know what's like all the the, the fucking bullshit above it i don't know why all the, the all the small text uh, i think i think all of that is the different songs that are on this album could potentially be but i don't necessarily know why that's positioned there but if you look at the text like the Beatles yesterday and today, I feel like that text by itself, if you look at it without anything else, looks like it's like like they did a nice balancing act with it, which actually works. But I think the main problem is yeah. There's something that's okay. There's something that's irking me about how they've shot the actual photo. Um, you got the three people in the front. They look like they're intentionally there, but then the dude in the back. He does not look like he's part of the Beatles. He looks like he <laughs> accidentally walked by, or, or just walked in, walked onto the shot behind them, and the the three in the front are trying their best to act natural with that guy. Yeah, that's kind kind of what it just looks like. Yeah, it feels like the one in the back shouldn't be there, and he walked onto set, and it's like, yep, no, sure, that's. That makes it even weirder. Let's keep it. I mean, since they're already doing something so weird with the puppets, like, what would have been wrong with somebody just, like, laying over the lap? <laughs> just, like, the, the, just, like, being there, like, uh... I don't know. What are the, what's the symbolism behind the meat and the baby doll? I don't things? know. That's, that's the question. I don't necessarily know what, uh... I don't necessarily know this album. I'm not sure on it either. I think I know a lot. I think I know a lot of songs. More like I could know some songs from the album, but I can't really read what it says at the top anyway. So, ah, uh, I mean, it's called Yesterday and Today, so maybe Yesterday was on there. Hmm. But that doesn't doesn't have much to do with. Yesterday there were babies. Today there's just meat. Hmm. Maybe they wanted to eat babies. No, I'm not sure. I I agree with your earlier point that you made. There's too much text on the front of the cover. Yeah, and then there's also like a blank space at the left, like at the at the left. Yeah, a large amount of empty space that they could have used for something else. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that. Why did they? The, why did they shove the maybe title the person at the back of the like, songs in that smaller space when they, 
Like, they could have put the title and the songs on the left-hand side where there's more open space. Hmm. I feel like the Beatles became, like, more rec- like, like, it was easier to distinguish, like, who was who later on. I feel like this is a very early album, then, or something. They they all have very similar yeah, they look very hairstyles. similar hair. I'm thinking... There's not much differentiating differentiating them other than their I'm thinking that it's George Harrison who's, like, in the back. And I think... I, you I know, if he was way close, if he was like right behind them, and he was like to where that op- like that empty space is, then it would have filled out the the album cover better, wouldn't it? That that's why I said about putting the text on the left rather than in that cramped little space on the right. True. Hey, I just realized if the yeah names of the songs or something or whatever that is were flagged were flagged that the is, other yes. way, so they would. Uh, basically be flagged to the right and they would be in that corner where they are they could have put the studio logo underneath that and they could have just put the text same as it is at on the left at the top yeah and they could have made that text a little yeah. bit bigger true yeah we i do think we should do a follow-up uh episode of these small talks where we try and fix some of these weird albums. Especially covers. since this one seems like rather easy. Some of these seem rather easy. The can one is just there's nothing to do with yeah, you can't a lot do of anything with the can one. Just just everything's wrong yeah. about that one. Just restart. So anyone listening in, look forward to that next episode where we potentially fix yeah. some of these. <gasps> oh We could we could wait, improve. Wait. We could also just make I them know how to worse. solve the can one. You take the pic the close up picture of his face? And you put him like behind the window. <laughs> and it's looking in. Mean, yeah, with this. <laughs> and then yeah. you Photoshop like a hand. Yeah. So like and then you Photoshop like a, a hand through, pressed through against the himself. window, like he's trying to look in. And <laughs> it's a scan by request. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would work. <laughs> Poor guy. Let's move on to the next one then. Megadeth. Euthanasia. Well, it doesn't have the yeah, name of the, the oh. album or what song or whatever that is. Yeah, that's the album. Uh, and uh, this is harder to like really put too much criticism to because I really like the contrast of the dark purple and the green of the grass and the sky. It is a that really is a real, nice contrast. Like with the, the with colors, the with yeah, the beige exactly. in the middle, like with the cloudy beige in the middle breaking it up a bit. And then the fact that you have like a dark green and then like a bit of a light like lighter green in there and like a bit of a purple. Like there's a nice nice gradient, which isn't really a gradient, but it still looks somewhat like it's going gradually. I think there's not much this, this one's similar to the um Millie Jackson one in which there's not much to criticize about the actual design, but the concept yeah. that it's trying to do is real fucking weird. Yeah, I guess, but like a weird concept doesn't necessarily mean that it breaks the. That doesn't necessarily mean that the design is bad. No, it it doesn't mean it's bad. It definitely doesn't mean it's bad. Like th- this is good from a design standpoint, in my point, uh, in my opinion, because you've got yeah. the. Uh, washing line of children uh, leading your eye through the yeah. um, image in a quite a nice way. Like you, you, you know where you. Where I you're think the only thing to. that's done rather poorly, but then still, it's not necessarily really bad, is the um, al- like the the band uh, logo and how it's been put in. It looks slightly like it's off-center. I think the main problem is that it, like, where it's, like, light behind it on the left side, it becomes hard to read. But, yeah, that's... Oh, yes, I agree. Because I agree the death... They, they could have made the storm clouds a bit darker on the left. Yeah, but then well. it would have also, like... I mean, the image is, like... I feel like the image is very good, like, the image itself... And I think having that be darker for the sake of the text would have not been not, not necessarily a solution. You know what? The image is nice. Yeah. Why not make the band logo smaller and put it put it to the right? That is a good just point. Just in the you dark part. Yeah. Why not? 
I th- I feel like they should also have the name of the album somewhere. Yeah, true. Maybe at the bottom somewhere where there's pretty much empty space, just yeah. rocks. Like, there's not too much going on at the bottom, and you could probably fit the word euthanasia in there. Yeah, I think I think if I oh I think maybe even for the band name and stuff and the band logo, I think if there was more to the log to the to the image at the bottom. There would have been more space at the bottom to put something. And then if the yeah. babies moved up a bit, then they would be perfectly... If everything moved up slightly, yeah, you could have more and space And I think the babies bottom. would have been perfectly in line for the rule of thirds, like, uh, vertically, if they were a bit higher. But that's just... Mm-hmm. I mean, this this album... I, I don't think this is, like, one of the worst album covers. It's just a bit of a weird one. No, this one this one's actually one of the stronger ones from today. And yeah, that's... It's... For the concept of what it's showing, feels yeah. The more I look at it, like the more I think, like oh, that's a great image and it's great composition on the image. But I do think, like the more I look at it, like the logo seems out of place. It's set. The more I look at it, it just becomes worse. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Andrew, (laughs) what the fuck is this? I forgot that that was the. Is that the album? (laughs) Did I change it on Spotify or something? I have no idea. I've Is that never the one that's seen on this Sp- in my I'm life. I'm gonna check Spotify for a second now. Okay. Um. Uh, K- Kanye West, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. I don't know if that's uh, again with like with the problem is with like nowadays, with Spotify and stuff, the concept of an album is like it. The album, the album on Spotify is blurred. Oh, it's really? Like pixelated. Damn. And it's got the parental advisory explicit content logo in the bottom right. I mean... <laughs> uh, I mean, you know what it makes me think of? But, like, uh, in a weird way? Like, you have, like, a lot of, like, these images which are, like, framed within, like, a square shit, like, pa- like, a passport two like, type of, like, framing. Where it's like a square, and mm-hmm. then it's like... It is basically a type of rule of thirds thing applied to it, and then you have the thing in the middle, where you have, like, the image. With yeah, a big it's just, border. It, just the center square. And I do, of the I do like those types of content. images for, like, wall designs and stuff. But I don't necessarily think that's a good idea for an album. It definitely makes things stand that, out. That is true. <laughs> yeah. And then you have the contrast... I'm confused as to where her arms are. I don't think she has arms. I think it's like... I think she has wings instead of arms. Like a harpy type of thing. I guess, yeah. I also wonder what's wrong with his face. Does he have like a very evil shit-eating grin? The title is Dark Twisted Fantasy Bram. He's drinking a beer while fucking a harpy. Or... Wait a second. Or is that the face? Is that the face or is that the bleeding hole? Uh... With the bone sticking out, that could have been the arm. Because it could be. I'm not you see sure. what I mean, right? That could be either a very, very poor face. I, I think yeah, it's it just be. shading. Or maybe the arms are up in the air and that's like armpit hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do think it's got wings instead of yeah. arms, like you mentioned, like a heart. Also the tail, which looks like a Dalmatian tail. And then there's a, there's a, like a yeah. leg sticking out, which somewhat suggestively... Can't. Like a phallic to some degree. Another thing to point out is how he's painted and how she's painted a very different style. True. Like he's very rough strokes all over the place, or she's smooth for the most part. I mean, part. that could be an intentional contrast, I suppose. Yeah, it. De- that, I guess that does, in some way, seem like an intentional design choice of a contrasting characters. I mean, yeah, from an yeah, from an artistic thing. point of view that would make some sense, I suppose. I don't know necessarily. It, it also doesn't have the album title or uh Kanye West's name on it, which is almost like like Kanye West is like, yeah, I'm big enough, I suppose. People don't need to read the see my name on it to know that it's me or something. I don't know what the fuck the the, the line of reasoning is behind that. This is just weird. Like, the gold outline looks like it's a photo of a texture just behind it. Yeah, true. 
I feel like I could recreate this fairly easy within Photoshop because it's basically just a PNG over a gold mm. texture square and then a painted effect. For it's the like I said, what I think this is, is like, it is very reminiscent of this type of like passport two framing that you have, like, which is like uh, a lot of the times it's like a, a very thick cardboard. It, it is, but yeah. it's overly di- it's it's overly digital, mm-hmm. and you can tell yeah, that it's yeah. digitally edited. I think that's my main issue is that it it's trying to go for that passport two look, but then there's yeah. digital editing. I think this idea could have been done instead. if like I don't know what they actually did now, but if they actually cut out like a, a thick piece of cardboard, like a really thick, um, and they would have cut out a hole. And they would have put like a type of painting like the one that's in there behind it. That would have already been better if they then actually took a, po- a photo or a scan of the actual like uh, art that they made or something instead of this thing that actually looks rather digital. Because it's rather quick to do this, right? You just have to have to have a picture. And it's cheap. Oh, I want to so move on from it. this one. I don't want to see this anymore. <laughs> Oh what? Um, um, that text could have literally been almost everywhere else. It could have been <laughs> at the bottom right, it, it, and it would it, have not been bothersome at all. It just feels like it's been placed there unintentionally. Like they did, it. they got two pieces of paper, threw them together. It's like, yep, that's fine. Like, like one has the text, one has the image. They threw them together, and it... also it's like they tried to do a um. A high contrast picture, but they did it on a poorly lit picture, which means that instead of like upping just the dark uh, contrast, they also upped like the grays, which just makes it look muddy. Yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah, it's very the, hard to the make one of those look pictures too dark, and then and then all the gray looks really muddy in the middle. So it's like. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with like a contrast where everything, where you have like some stuff look like pure black, but it just becomes really muddy when you have the grays that are there are just like very muddy and like monotonous to some degree. I mean, that's probably intentional though for this, with the whole. It, it seems like a punk rock kind of album cover and it yeah, seems guess... like the muddy greys are intentional in this case because they wanted to go against the grain in a way well i guess i guess just have a um hastily slapped together the, album just kind of works then I mean, the main thing that i don't like is the text being on a slight angle that doesn't match anything else yeah i like how they've got a it's... logo for their actual name yeah that is true the only problem here is that uh Every criticism you can give, you can give, you can just be like, "Yeah, it's a punk aesthetic," and just use that as a easy, as like an easy. Uh, way I feel out. like something they could have done is have their band name in the top left, and then the album name in the bottom right in a black text, so it goes or they over her just shoulder. Had them, or they could have just had them together at the bottom. Yeah. I'm not. I don't like that. The texts are different widths. I mean, I don't really have a problem with that, but at the same time, it looks cheap. I mean, if they're if they're a different width, I mean, it kind of. Hmm, it does kind of depend on like the ratio of like the the sizes of the text. So, um, if it's not the same width. It should almost be, I don't. It's 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 hard to say, but because it's more of like a balancing type of thing, and it's just hard to really put that into a rule. But but it can work having like the the, the texts not matching up, because I feel like it does look, it does look easy, like and unpredictable for the text to be the same width, sometimes. I could I can understand that for sure. But it feels like. The texts are now, like, in the middle? My issue, I think, is that they've got, like, a center alignment for the text. Yeah. And the center alignment, really like, work. both sides are flagging, basically, and that kind of makes it look a bit weird. Uh, if there's nothing else to justify that, 
Let's say if there's like a third thing involved, which is like a logo or something or some like uh, like image that was in the middle above the band name, then that would kind of justify the rest being like center aligned. But with just two things, center alignment's just kind of weird. I don't understand kind of depends on why they've chosen the picture that they have as well. But again, yeah, I guess, I guess. it could just fit the whole punk thing, like we said. Yeah, it could just have to... It's difficult to criticize when it could just be explained away with, oh, punk rock. That's that's definitely the thing, yeah. Um, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Soft rock. Um... um I don't know. Uh, Design standpoint, is... nothing wrong. Maybe you could have changed the artwork to be a bit more centered, but the text <laughs> is fine, I guess. Yeah, I don't really have anything to say about the text. So here, it, here it doesn't match up. Um, it's not center aligned this time, but it doesn't match up like when it comes to the length. But I think the the tight, yeah. But, but the I think because of it being round and round, would have been too big. Left. Because we're being aligned on the left, it's fine that it doesn't match up. Yeah. Also, the only reason why it's aligned to the left is because of the way the album is. If the, if it was the other way around, if the dog was on the left, and the human was on the right, then the text would have probably been better on the other side. <laughs> so it yeah. just basically comes down to that. From a design yeah, standpoint, perfect perfection. <laughs> <laughs> just another weird idea. Yeah, just another just, yeah. weird concept for sure. I don't. I want to quickly move on from this one. Yeah, there's not much. To say. Oh, wait, so is terrible. that everything? Yeah, that was the last one actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So it ended. With... <laughs> it ended with furries. Yeah. That's how furries were made. Okay, maybe maybe not furries, but the extremity of the furry fandom for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is called Ariel Pink's Haunted Graffiti. That <laughs> so is this, true. This, this is a very like, haunted image. I feel like you could wake up at night and you hear like... <laughs> just, what the fuck is that? And then you look <laughs> and you see a dog and a person. I'm definitely going to have to have a talk with the person who put all of these together and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there's probably more uh, of this shit out there. And the thing is, like, uh, I mean, I'm going to also talk to other people about other stuff, but, like, me and Connor could do some more design stuff. Um, there is a lot of stuff out there. We could check movie posters, movie covers, album co more album covers, obviously. Just design in general. There's a whole array of, like, um, unsavory... Uh, <laughs> design choices there's plenty uh, of reddits with like bad on the design internet. decisions so we could we could just yeah. browse a reddit one day with really bad decisions uh made for design yeah. you know what we should do like in the future like somewhere in the future definitely we should try to um have a challenge maybe we could involve other people if they want to um if people want to uh input their designs or something we could try the hardest one, the ones that's unsalvageable. Try to fix the fucking can by request one. <laughs> Let's go back Let people that go nuts actually. with it. So just say like... <laughs> the whole idea of this one is just bad. So because, and because it's so oh, it's... bad, like people can do whatever they want with it. We'll try to fix some, yeah. And we'll try definitely try to do something special with this one because it's just unsalvageable. <laughs> okay. No, this but is I guess, I this is definitely so. I feel like we should make our own versions of these, like we pose for them and have our own titles. Yeah, I mean, some of them, some of them just like require just like complete rework, but some mm -hmm. of them just have some minor touching up. Yeah, I think we should also just decide that beforehand, which which needs a small touching up, and then we can just do those. And then we can end with a bang with the ones that are just completely <laughs> overhauled. Yeah, complete overhauls yeah. for can by request only. Yeah, so um, I guess you can look forward to that. I think we're going to end it here. We'll mm -hmm. see you in the next one. Yeah, catch you guys in the next uh, podcast. <laughs>